Okay, that started before I wanted it to, but okay. All right, so let's see. I just did, what did I do? Oh, I need to do cancer. Let's do cancer. All right, cancer, let's see what's coming up for you during this Mercury retrograde. What's coming up towards cancer during Mercury retrograde? This is just for cancer. All right, cancer. So there may be a little bit of financial issues going on here. Could be financial issues or it could be that you're leaving somebody behind. I don't know. But it looks like you're planning and preparing for the future here. Let's see. Making decisions about your future. <clears throat> sweetheart you got brand new beginnings here this might be a financial situation okay so you might be leaving a job or um if you, excuse me i'm sorry you guys i'm still trying to get over this little cold it's leaving but <clears throat> my brother is still a little bit irritated but okay so I see you're going to be moving forward, okay? You might have an opportunity for um, for a new job or um, some type of financial gain, financial growth here, okay? So right about now, your money might be looking a little funny or whatever. But there's new opportunities here. And I do believe that this is also going to open doors for other things as well. So I see you moving forward. I'm going to turn this around. Why are you upside down? Hold on. I'm sorry, Cancer. I wasn't ready when the camera started. All right, so let's see. What else do we have for Cancer during Mercury retrograde? All right, so I see you putting in a lot of hard work at this time. Uh, yeah, really focused, determined to get yourself back to... Uh, Back to a level where you feel comfortable with your bank account, your pinnacles, and things like that. So I do see that you're going to be, you know, focused on what it is that you need to do to get, you know, get your pinnacles right. Being very strategic, okay? Bringing everything in place like uh, you wanted and needed to be at this time. Let's see. All right. So I also see that uh, you may have something going on with your home, some stability here. There could be, you know, marriage here as well with your relationship, okay? So uh, two different things. You could be having some financial issues here. If you are, things are going to be getting better. You got some new opportunities coming in when it comes to work, all right? Also, you may have uh, a new relationship here coming in that... Uh, it's going to end up being very good for you, okay? Also, there's some communication coming through as well. I'm thinking this is more of a uh, financial situation regarding your home. All right. So there might have been a little bit of financial lack, like I said. But with a lot of hard work, uh, it's going to pay off. And I do see a lot of stability happening here as well. So if you already have a family, I do believe you and your family are going to be pretty okay. All right. Yeah, I see you being very uh, strategic about what you're doing, how you, you know, you're making your moves. And uh, I see you putting in the work and leaving unnecessary BS behind. Okay, so right about now, I don't think you're going to be playing at all. When it comes to whatever this is that you're doing, okay, you're you're taking whatever it is that you need with you and leaving the rest behind, all right? Only thing that you're doing now is focusing on what's important. I do see that there's going to be balance coming out here. So this is a beautiful thing. 
And also, I see that there's going to be celebration. So, I, I see that, you know, things are, are uh, going to be looking up for you. So, if you were going through any type of financial issues or whatever, I see this is going to be coming, you know, turning around. I do apologize if I'm rattling. <laughs> Done a lot of quick readings here. All right. So, you might have a lot of opportunities coming your way, too, when it comes to um, financial gain is just the fact that you need to, um, you know, be logical about the situation. What's the best choice for you? Okay. All right. Let's see. How this. Give me the five of pentacles. Yeah. See, you probably been worried, stressed about a situation. Okay. I'm um, trying to figure out what it is that you're going to do. There's going to be some communication coming in. So you'll be okay. Let's see. Some offers coming in. Also, for those of you that have actually, you know, said goodbye to someone, we're on a break with someone, I do see that this person is going to come back and actually offer some type of apology. Um, try to make amends, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups, all right? So definitely, um, if this is someone from your past, I do see that there is going to be a new beginning with this person. <clears throat> There's going to be some messages coming in from this person, okay? They've been um, trying to figure out a way to come back to you, get back together with you. This is definitely an ex that's coming in. All right, offering some type of uh, some type of cup of love, wanting to communicate. Uh, someone coming in possibly with an apology. Like I said, I saw the page of cups. If this is a relationship and, and you got two different things going on here. I see some financial issues and also new beginnings or a possibility with a new start with someone from your past. Okay. Um, either way this goes, this is going to take a lot of work. You definitely got communication coming in. And are you trying to figure out? Yes, look, this is, yes. All right, so there's a situation going on with a person here that um, you may want to reunite with someone or someone from your past wants to reunite with you. So uh, you may feel like this situation is burdensome, a heavy, heavy burden dealing with this person. But it looks like you are in your head about this situation because there's some things that you're not so sure of. And I think it's whether to, if you want to stay or go. Do you travel towards this person and start something new, something fresh, something, you know, a new beginning with this person? Or do you just let it go? Are you willing to put in the work for it? Yeah, because something happened here in the past with this person that caused some type of heartache and drama. All right, and also, like I said, someone here also has a new opportunity for um, financial advancement here. Let's see. So you have some decisions to make with money and love here. Also, this new opportunity um, with money here, this might be something that you've done in the past that uh, you have an opportunity to do again. You're very good at it. So, you know, you might get a chance to go back to do something that you had a lot of uh, a lot of passion, a lot of love for. Also, when it comes to this four of wands, you definitely have somebody that uh, wants to make an offer. Or you're coming in with an offer towards someone else, towards marriage, stability, family. All right. Shared dwelling here. So, yeah, all right, you might have been holding back for a while from this person contemplating about it or someone has been uh, holding back from you, but wanting to give to the situation. It looks like this is someone that you had an ending with that wants to resurrect this relationship. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to uh, reconcile with you, Cancer. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Seven of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords. Your person is being very strategic, or you are, and, and is watching. Okay, so you got a stalker. I won't say stalker, but you're watching this person, or this person is watching you in silence. This is somebody who finds you very attractive, very alluring. Um, 
they like how passionate you are or you are about this person, okay? But you've been sitting back watching, just waiting, um, contemplating, should I make this offer? There were some things that happened in the, hit, uh, in the past and someone here is in deep regret about the things that happened in the past and they want to make things right. So someone here is trying to come in with some type of offer. They're not sure if you're going to take it or if this is you, you're not sure if your person is going to take it, okay? Yeah, you're not sure if they're going to take it or walk away from it. So this could be you, this could be your person. Give me the Seven of Cups here. There's some confusion here about what you need to do or what this person needs to do. Or there's some confusion about you accepting this offer. What did I say? All right, so you got judgment here. So there's definitely a decision about you accepting an offer and an apology or offering one, going after what you want, um, bringing in messages uh, to this person or this person coming in to you, bringing in messages. Hey, you know what? I got feelings for you. I'm sorry about the things that happened in the past. Can we work together? I apologize for the things that I said or did. You know, I know it's going to take a lot of work for us to bring this together, but what I'm bringing to the table now is stability. I want to move slow in this situation and, and, you know, repair the things that we, you know, kind of tore down in the past. But we have an opportunity to build something great here, something stable. We were good together when we were together, okay? We got a chance for the Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. Let's take our time and go towards this, okay? Would you accept my apology and this cup of love that I have? Because I know that we could be happy together. Mm, I like it. All right, so just be mindful. Like I said, this is Mercury Retrograde, so you got X's and things like that that will pop up, so... Choose wisely, sweetheart. Anything else for cancer? Yeah, you got the Knight of Cups. Clarifying by the Knight of Cups, all right? So, yeah, there's a lot of love here. I think you two feel like or you feel like you have a spiritual connection with this person. There's also dealing with this person. There's a lot of uh, lessons that you've learned here. Uh, life lessons, spiritual growth here as well, okay? So, someone here is definitely making a judgment call. They've gotten some clarity or whatever, you know, some type of magical epiphany. You know what? When I was with cancer, I was happy or cancer. This is you. You're realizing that when you're with this person, you know, you're you're fulfilled. This person is everything that you want. OK, so, yeah, they match you. And I think somebody is about to reveal some things about this situation as well and make an offer. OK, so is there anything else? Give me more about money for cancer. All right, so I see you making a head over heart decision, Queen of Swords, being very logical about the situation. You want to move this into calmer waters as well. All right, so there's something unexpected coming towards you. I do believe it has to do with money that you are going to be. What did I just say? <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, one of these things here with the Ace of Pentacles as well. Like I said, I think somebody was having some financial issues. There's going to be an opportunity for advancement at work. All right. Also for love, look at this, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. So I see that you have a divine counterpart here that is actually going to lead to the Ten of Cups, okay? So, but just don't rush with this decision, take your time, see what's best for you, and before you decide to do anything, kind of, you know, talk to this person and, and vibe and, you know, see where their head at, head is at and see if you want the same things. And uh, make your decision after my three retrograde and see if you still feel the same, okay? I don't know. That's what I have for you. Bye.